Hey starlings! Wow! <laughs> a video that will actually involve the camera moving from place to place. <laughs> also, I got a new wig. If no one could tell, I have short hair under all this. Everyone meet Regina. But Regina missed out because I don't get to put her in a wig video because I already made one. And until I get 100 more wigs, I will not be making another wig video. This video is a little bit different. Um, a lot of people always ask me, Lita, where do you get your clothes from? Where do you get your clothes from? I'm just kind of going to go through my closet, kind of show you guys what I have, what I purchased, what my style is, because my style is more bipolar than me. It changes every couple minutes. And I will tell you guys like where I get the majority of my clothes, uh, what my style was when I was a kid. Uh, just some fun little stories about all the good stuff. <laughs> can you tell I haven't filmed a video in a long time? But as you can see, I do have all my clothes semi-organized. I'm not the most organized human being on the planet, but this is all like your casual, um, your casual stuff. I do double, sometimes triple up on some of my outfits on the hangers, but over here are skirts. I will be pulling those out because you won't be able to see if I bring the camera over here. Yeah! Cool! That didn't do anything. If I go out of focus because I back up, I'm very very sorry so there's a lot of clothes I have so many I will kind of describe where I got everything from <laughs> this these two are two separate skirts hey baby uh, I got these from Amazon for like $15 each I believe I love these these are hi these are just cool boho skirts I'm sorry if everything's out of focus my camera sucks at focusing here we got I got this from some secondhand store it's like a warehouse store. It's another skirt. I have all my skirts in order, then I have like tank top shorts. They're all in sections. I used to have everything color coded, but then I grew out of that phase. This also came from a secondhand store. It's just a long max skirt. I think I got this from like a thrift store, to be honest. Um, love them both. I usually would take these on vacations. They are a staple for my suitcase. And I just adore wearing these. I love skirts. I love long skirts. They hide my, my uh, turkey legs. So this is what I have to deal with. Two Wheaton babies. Right. We match, Milo. We're both in yellow today. Ooh. Okay. These ones are some cute stories. So, and also it can take me into the conversation of my childhood. So this skirt, my mother actually bought me. I've been looking for some floral skirts. Um, and I love this one. I haven't worn it yet. But I do plan to wear this. Mom, I do promise. This one, I've had since third grade. <laughs> and it still fits like a glove um this used to like i used to hate this skirt as a kid because when i was little my mother is and still is a shopaholic um she would just go to the store every day and would just shop for hours on end and it took me a long time to like clothing it took me a long time to find my own style because i hated shopping she kind of ruined it for me for a very long time uh, but I now love shopping because I have my own money um, and I purchase what I like. My mom has this aesthetic of a lot of lace, a lot of doily type of clothes. Just Google what doilies are if you don't know what they are. That was a majority of my closet. Um, and also my sisters because they would just get like the hand-me-downs. Like I would get some hand-me-downs from my older sisters. That's just kind of how it worked when you lived with six sisters. And it was a lot. It was not my taste at all. Um, when I was really little, she'd pick out my clothes. I wasn't allowed to pick out my clothes to wear to school. And I never wore the same outfit twice. Uh, after I wore it, it would go to either my sister's or we would donate it. <laughs> because she was always buying so many things that it was impossible to fit all them in the closet. And you were always getting new ones and you couldn't remember what you already wore. I do still obviously have a couple of things from my mother. Um, this one gives me a uh, fifth grader me vibes. Uh, she bought this for me a couple months ago. Update it to a 20 year old Lolita. This one I just recently bought on Poshmark, I believe. I am really excited because you're not going to know this, but this weekend I am going with my friend Eileen, who is my go-to photographer. And we're going to do a really fun photo shoot for Patreon people. And I also am going to obviously post a couple of pictures. Um, in this on my Instagram. I'm really excited. I'm also excited because I get to hang out with my best friend for the whole day. Don't ask me where I got all this energy. I don't know where I got it. This one I got at uh, a Goodwill, I think. 
I wore this um, with a friend when we went out around town until like 2 in the morning. A lot of fun. It is, in fact, like a crushed velvet material, and I used to hate cheetah print as a kid. These um, were one of the first things I received from Fashion Nova. I am not an affiliated partner. Um, I do hope to one day be a partner with Fashion Nova. I do buy my clothes usually from them. Sometimes I'll get sent a couple of things, um, but usually I do buy them. There's a funny story with these two skirts. So I ordered this one. Okay, this really cute, it was like $5. I ordered that one, but I ended up getting this one in the mail. So I emailed them and I was like, listen, this skirt is, while it's gorgeous, <laughs> it's not the one I ordered. Um, so they sent me the right one for free, so they were really, really nice about that. And I adore these. I wore this one. Okay, while I love this wig to death, all my wigs give me headaches. <laughs> Alright, got this one. I remember now. I got it in Mexico at their Forever 21. It looks way warmer on camera. It's actually a very cool toned red skirt. I wore it most recently to my sister's for Christmas. And this one I got from Shein. Sheen? 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 I think it's Sheen. I got this one because I was actually at a local JCPenney and I saw this mannequin had this really cute outfit put together. It was a reptile skirt like this one and a gray long sleeve top, which I'll show you later. And I loved it, but the outfit was really expensive there. So I managed to put this all together. This one was $5. And this was also five dollars. These two. Oh wow. This one I have not worn forever. I forgot I owned it. Actually, I might donate this or give it to my niece. This one I really, really enjoy. It kind of gives me. Oh, what's her name on TikTok? Avia Sophia, I believe her name is. Um, but my friend Kevin, who is known as Iron Sanctuary on TikTok, <laughs> made some funny videos uh, with a similar skirt. Uh, so. I keep forgetting that I really want to do a parody of those two videos with this and I don't know, this is kind of a, I have to be in the mood to wear this one, if I can be entirely honest. Where did I get this one from? Forever 21! <laughs> uh, but I don't think I got this at Forever 21, I do believe I got it at like Goodwill or Widow's Closet or something like that. So I do have a black skirt that looks just like this, but it's uh, in my other room right now because I'm going to be wearing that tomorrow. I always get my outfits ready the day before. This I just recently got at a mall. It was a store that was closing, so there's no point in me telling you what store. Like all, the whole thing's shutting down. But I love this. I got it for four or five bucks. I do believe it was five dollars. So these two, oh, where did I get this? Oh, I got it at another secondhand store, and it has to go into the wash. What did I get all over it? Secondhand stores, but I don't remember which ones. This one is just about right on the camera, on the monitor. It is just that red. I do like it. It's a little tight around my stomach, because I do pull up like pants and skirts a little higher to hide my flabby stomach, but I do like it. Uh, I just wish that the elastic was a little had a little more give to it, you know. These two I got at Goodwill. I like these because I take these on vacation probably the most. And these ones are my hippie flared out bottom pants. I know everyone makes fun of people that own a pair like this, but I love them and I will buy 80 more once I find them again. <laughs> and it makes me sad. These I got at a store called. Altered State. Yes, I got these at Altered State. They had to be altered because they were too big for me. Um, Ruth took them in at the waist for me and I just, I love these. I love them so much. If I could wear these every day, I would. I just, <laughs> I'm looking at where I split uh, the clothes so I could know where I stopped. And I just realized how many pairs of things that I have. So we're just gonna fly through these. We got rig shorts. We got fancy black shorts, both from Forever 21. Primarily Mexico. Each wore, I believe, $5. These are Arizona. Yes, both are Arizona jeans. They look very, very identical. I don't know how much they were. My mother got them for me. Got these Express. Got a wear belt with them. I don't remember how much they were. They were on sale, though. They were talking 10 bucks. These, unless you go to St. Mar Martin's, St. Martin. I don't know. My parents went on a little vacation down there, and they got me these 
shorts. They come with matching tops. Shasa, the store in Mexico, I do not believe they have any stores up here in the States. They're like three to maybe six dollars. We got Plato's Closet shorts. I have not finished buttoning these up, but yes, they button up. This is actually a swimsuit top from Fashion Nova, but everyone knows it as my Trina Decker top from some TikToks. Um, it is a like bandage wrap top, and I found out it's a swimsuit. Yes, weigh in. It's It was a store in Mexico. I do not know if they have any of the shops up here in the States, but I got this for like 10, 10, 9, 10 bucks, probably 9 bucks. Uh -huh. And it does have an under bra thing. We got a $2 top. Actually, it was a dollar because it was on clearance. My mother bought it for me. I wore it for a couple of TikToks, but I haven't really worn it since, and I really should. But I don't see it really as a as a summer top. I see it more like a fall. My battery's lasting a long time. I'm shocked. This is from Wayan. It was like $35. Got it on vacation two years ago in Mexico. It does have sleeves on the inside and I just absolutely adore this shirt. I usually wear it more so towards the end of summer because it is a thicker knit material. This I got at another secondhand shop. I do believe it was Goodwill. Tops that went with those shorts that I showed you that my parents had gotten me as a gift. It is the cream, the tan. Just a cute little halter top. I love it. I wore it for my graduation party and I took it on vacation a couple of times. This top is super old but it gives me 70s vibes and I love 70s, I love 70s like everything. This one I got at Plato's Closet and this one I got at another secondhand store. My mom and I like going to secondhand stores, what can I say? I tried to semi color coordinate these hangers but I eventually gave up on trying to do that. This is a Charlotte Russe corset top I got on clearance for maybe three bucks. I do love it even though it is a little high up on the chest you can't really show off much but I like it and I can still wear a bra underneath even though you don't technically need to. It is pretty thick but I like to be extra cautious, extra safe. This is another Fashion Nova top I got it from Probably Poshmark, I believe. Uh, Ruth had to fix it. One of the things was torn. For those of you who don't know, Pyramid Collection is a online store. And they sell unique things. They sell kind of like the fairy, gothic, hippie stuff. Um, as you can see, I have a couple, actually. Pyramid Collection, my mother was getting some of their magazines in the mail. And I was in... I would say second or third grade and I decided to take one of the magazines to school to show my friends because I thought some of the outfits were just so pretty. Luckily my aide at the time, it was not Ruth, I did not know Ruth yet, uh, she wanted to look at it first just because she was curious and I was out at recess. I had not shown my friends the book yet and I hadn't even looked into it yet. And there is a section in the magazine of adult toys. Saved me a lot of explaining and my mother a lot of explaining. <laughs> but moving on, this is a Forever 21 color off top in navy blue. I got this, I believe from a friend, actually. Now we get into the regular tank tops. Okay, look. Oh, geez, I didn't know I had three on here. Oops. This is another Fashion Nova top. I do like this one a lot. It is crisscrossed in the back and it is thick enough to where I don't have to wear anything underneath of it. If you remember from my early TikTok days, I wore this one quite a bit. It is a Charlotte Russe and it is inside out, but it's just your typical marbleized tie-dye, I don't know what you call it, tank top. Just everyday wear. This one, I don't know where I got it from, if I can be 100% honest with you. Like the tag, like the back tag is gone. <laughs> uh, but. Here it is, it's a feather tank top. I don't, I honestly don't remember where I got it from. These are my tank top slash crop tops. They're kind of both, but when I'm sitting, you, they just look like tank tops. It is a tank top from Fashion Nova. I got it for like $11 at the time, but then it went on sale and I was mad. Obviously Fashion Nova. These were both, I do believe $4 each. They are tucked in at the bottom and they're supposed to be crop tops, but they just look like tank tops on me. In the beginning of my influencer days, I was an influencer, I still technically am, not a big one, um, for an online indie store called Orange Juice the Brand. 
And this was one of the first things they sent me. Okay, I'm back. My room and it, we're just kind of like hanging out, hanging out with my dogs. But we're back. And I decided uh, in the midst of all this to make the winter closet a separate video because this is gonna be way too long. A Macy's top that I've only worn once. I need to wear it again. And then we've got this one that people have seen quite a few times. I've had this for a long time. I don't remember where I got it, but I love it. Oh, ah, a Fashion Nova camouflage top. Fun fact, this was one of the first tops that got me noticed by their Instagram account. The reason I bought this one was because it looked like a bodysuit they had at the time on their store, but I didn't want to buy the bodysuit because I was self-conscious. This is another Sheen one. I, this one's so cool to me. I like the chains. We've got another one that goes with those black shorts. This is just another halter top that came with it from the vacation my parents took. And another Sheen, Sheen. This is another off shoulder one. I thought this was really cool, this detailing. All right, I just pulled out a bunch just so I can do all this right off the bat. This top is backwards hat. Again, it was in Mexico. This was at their Forever 21 and she spotted it on their clearance section. So this was like $2. So of course I couldn't pass up that deal. <laughs> you went to that off the shelf real quick. This one is from Orange Juice the brand. So this one, I don't think they even sell anymore, but it's the buckle one. People have probably seen this a few times if you do follow my TikTok. It's just, I don't wear this one as often. I had to be in a mood to wear this type. Can you tell my energy is just depleting the longer this video goes? I thought this was gonna be a fun idea when people suggested it, but you know, now I'm tired. Okay, next one. This is a Fashion Nova one, surprisingly. It is Fashion Nova, but they don't sell it anymore, so I'm not even gonna bother bringing up the price because I know they don't sell it anymore. Ooh, it's dark. <laughs> This is another Forever 21 top. I found this at Plato's Closet and I had to have Ruth take in the top because it was a little low for me. It fits my 70s aesthetic. We've got this, it's actually a swimsuit top, but I learned uh, from Fashion Nova that I should have tested this swimsuit top out with water before I took it on vacation and went to the beach. <laughs> Cause uh, when the material is wet, um, you see everything. And this is just a denim vest. Uh, it's a custom one. Someone added a cool bow here when you attach it. And I thought it was super cool, so I couldn't pass that up. Let's see what's next. Ooh, this is the Fashion Nova top. I wore this one recently and it was like, what, $7? And then this is just a plain one that I got from, I think a thrift store. A Cancun shirt. This was my first year when I went to Cancun. I saw this with shorts on a mannequin and had to have it. And this one is my iconic queen tank top. I wore it a lot in the beginning of my TikTok days. I can't remember exactly where I got that queen one from. These two shirts I got at the same place, Plato's Closet, my NASA shirt. And it says good vibes on the other side with a little pocket, but I love pandas. They're my favorite animal in the whole world. Now these I'm actually going to be going through probably like over the weekend to figure out which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to get rid of because like this plaid one is just kind of meh to me nowadays. It's not really my favorite anymore. Uh, I got all of these at Plato's Closet. Uh, some of them were gift from my mother. I think it was these two were gifts and I've worn them on vacations. I wear them to go errand, to run errands, wheel errands, roll errands. I got this at Hot Topic, because Freddy Krueger is my favorite slasher of the 80s. He's my favorite slasher villain. I don't know if the wig is just overheating me or if my AC isn't on. I'm dying. <laughs> Shasa. It is see-through, and I usually wear one of my Fashion Nova black tank tops underneath, and I don't remember how much it was. And this is just another Fashion Nova top with this, even though it's kind of getting pulled, getting stretched out, and it was like, probably 10 bucks. So kind of a waste of $10 for that one. Those, you can see them. They're just little coats that I wear. I never film with them. You'll probably never see them unless you hang out with me in real life. We got my iconic honey shirt from Fashion Nova. I got it though 
for on for on sale uh, for sale um for what was it five six dollars probably even four honestly and this one's also from fashion nova it's just a long t-shirt a little higher up in the front and we're on to the two bodysuits that i do in fact own we've got a fashion nova one that is probably my favorite out of the two this one is a comfortable b stylish and i don't overheat in it even though it is a thicker material ah. and it was the last one before they sold out and i don't think they'll ever restock on that <laughs> and this i got from hot topic for like 10 bucks um they labeled it a swimsuit top but i simply wear it with a skirt or pants and since it's black and white i can add any color i want onto the dresses and then we're done don't mind my desk and my popcorn <laughs> But real quick, I just wanted to show off all these boots. They wouldn't fit in my other closet, even though they are all winter boots. And we've got some summer shoes down here. Obviously they are all kids because I have a very small feet. Oh, geez, I gotta go all the way back there. And here, those are just, these are just tank tops, okay. Just tank tops. We're good. <laughs> we got, this was from Aruba. I think it was like $18, but then again, I got it like a little outdoor vendor, so they upped the price. <laughs> Can you tell I've gotten bored <laughs> with trying to pull all of them out? Now I'll just do this for the front. This is from Garage Clothing. You've probably seen it a couple of times. Just a simple, simple dress. I like it. It was, what, $15, I believe? These two denim dresses, I don't remember where I got them from. I have to be 100% honest with you. I don't remember where I got this, but... And I can't remember the prices, but they are really nice, except this one I'm probably going to toss out soon. Cool. And this one was from Mexico. They're Forever 21 down there. I think it was $10. This one I've had probably since freshman year of high school, I'm going to say. Oh yeah, definitely freshman year. It's from Victoria's Secret. I couldn't tell you the price because it's so old, but I will not get rid of it until I outgrow it, which will probably be never. And this is just a simple black dress because every girl needs a simple little black dress. Uh -huh. I got it from Plato's Closet. So again, I'm probably going to tell you the price because it's also very old. And my mother got me this one. I don't know where she got it from, but you can bet it's going to go on vacation with me when we're allowed. Okay, the next are the two like sets that I have. This one is my favorite from Fashion Nova. It is a jacket and a skirt. This was what, $34.99, $35, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I love it. It is rain jacket material, and then it has like a netting on the inside, which keeps you warm if you are cold. And the skirt fits perfectly around my paraplegic waist, which I'm very appreciative of. And this one I got from Sheen. This is the skirt and this is the top. The top is my favorite over the skirt. The skirt, while it is pretty, I kind of have to like mess with it to try and get it to stay on me and not fall off when I shift. But the top is nice. The only thing that bugs me are these long ties. I try tying them into like two knots and then to a bow. Still doesn't do anything, but I do like it. All right, speed round for all these dresses. Aruba, $18. It was $22, but I, was, I managed to have the woman knock down the price a little bit. I love it. I, I always wanted a full-on rainbow dress, and this was the best option. These two are the same thing. My mother got them for me. I don't know where she got them. She surprised me with these two tie-dye dresses. I usually wear these, though, towards the end of summer because they're a little bit thicker. This I got in Playa in Riviera Maya in Mexico. I got it at their Chasa store, which is kind of like a cheaper Forever 21 down there as well. And, all right, two Fashion Nova things right here. One is a romper, one's a dress. One second. This is a dress. I don't remember how much this was, but I like that I can dress this up or dress this down. Like I can just go hang out with friends with this or I could go to a nice restaurant and just dress it up a little bit. And this romper um, I wore for my 20th birthday and it is one of the few rompers that I wear that I actually am very comfortable in. It's not too thick, not too thin, not too bulky. It looks bigger, but it's super comfortable, comfortable and I love it. <laughs> but they have been out of stock with this one for a very long time. Okay, so in the beginning when I was like buying clothes online, everyone told me to be weary of uh, Amazon. But they proved those people and myself wrong because these are both Amazon dresses. 
This was in their vintage section, um, as was this one that people probably saw often. And both are great. Both are wonderful. They fit nice. They're not made of bad fabric. I could wear these anywhere. And then we have my little red dress from Amazon and my little blue dress from Amazon. And this dress is also Amazon. I call it my Regina Mills dress, as you can clearly see. And I always feel so mature when I wear this one. This one was sent to me by an indie brand. I have yet to wear it, but it does fit very, very nicely. We're down to the last, the last ones. <laughs> one second. This one is backwards. It's an off-shoulder dress from Fashion Nova. Wore it on Easter, wore it a couple of times after that. I love it. I again feel like a mature adult. I think this one was, I think I got it for sale. So I think it was like 15 when I bought it. I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. This one is so difficult to move in. Both are Fashion Nova, by the way. This dress is so tight. I can't move. And since it's off the shoulder, you gotta like, just do like a stick. And I think it was a gift, as was this one, but I really like this one, even though since I gained a couple of pounds, this one's not fitting as good as it was. And the final dress. I saved the best for last and the most expensive for last. It doesn't look expensive, but trust me, it was $200. <clears throat> this dress is from Lana Padilla. She's my favorite actress in the whole entire world. It was for a charity. Um, event, um, all the proceeds went towards a charity that she was prom promoting, and I got it. And it's my most prized possession. Be sure to comment down below what you liked in my closet, what your least favorite was. Um, this most likely will be outdated very, very shortly because I have some more things coming in uh, for my closet, so there is that. <laughs> But with all that being said, Starlings, all of my social media links are down in the description box below, along with my book website. Look how my lip gloss. Be sure to leave a like if you did like this video, and keep an eye out for the winter closet to come up very, very soon. But with all that being said, I shall see you all later.